Hi, this is Tom from ZeroDefinals.com. In this video, I'm going to go through a condition called bitemporal hemianopia, because it's a bit tricky to understand at first, but once you get your head around it, it's quite simple. Bitemporal hemianopia refers to a condition where both of the outer halves of the visual fields are lost. So the patient won't be able to see things in their peripheral vision in the outer half of their eyes. So looking closer at the name, bi means two, meaning affecting both eyes. Temporal refers to the temporal area on the sides of the head rather than the middle or the front. Hemi means half, in that half the vision is affected. And anopia refers to a visual field defect. This condition occurs where there's something pressing on the optic chiasm. And the most common cause of this is a tumour of the pituitary gland, which sits directly below the optic chiasm. We need to go through some basic anatomy and physiology of vision and the track that the visual impulses take as they go through the brain to the visual cortex. So let's look in more detail at that. Light comes into the eyeball. It then crosses over when it goes through the lens of the eye to the opposite half of the back of the eye. It then gets sensed here in the retina and it travels down the optic nerve and it comes to the optic chiasm. And this is sort of in the center of the brain. At this point, the outer halves of the visual fields or the temporal half of the visual field cross over and the inner half of the vision travels along the outside. These signals then enter into the optic tract, then into the lateral geniculate body. Then the visual impulses travel through the optic radiations and into the occipital lobe and visual cortex at the back of the brain where the signal is processed. So like we said, the most common cause of a bitemporal hemianopia is a tumor of the pituitary gland, which sits just below the optic chiasm. And when this tumor grows big enough in size to press on the middle of the optic chiasm, it compresses and disrupts the signals at that point. There's then loss of that signal trying to go through the rest of the brain. So if we look at the areas of the nerves that are affected, we can see that the light coming from the outer halves of the vision crosses over at the lens and enters the inner half of the retina. And this then travels back through the optic nerve where it crosses over in the middle of the optic chiasm. And this is the area that's disrupted by the tumor. This means the signal is then not able to pass through to the visual cortex and the signal is lost. The signal that can get through is the inner half of the vision that's sensed by the outer half of the retina and travels along the outside of the optic chiasm. And this is what causes the bitemporal hemianopia. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget there's plenty of other resources on the Zero to Finals website, including loads and loads of notes on various different topics that you might cover in medical school with specially made illustrations. There's also a whole test section where you can find loads of questions to test your knowledge and see where you're up to in preparation for your exams. There's also a blog where I share a lot of my ideas about a career in medicine and tips on how to have success as a doctor. And if you want to help me out on YouTube, you can always leave me a thumbs up, give me a comment or even subscribe to the channel so that you can find out when the next videos are coming out. So I'll see you again soon.